Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have three fragrances to share with you. One of them was highly requested and the other ones were ones I've just kind of had on my back burner that I've wanted to bring here for a while to talk about with you guys. So there's going to be three perfumes today and three next week. So if you want to see what the ones next week are, make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss those. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfumes. We also do a little bit of home decor, minimalism, decluttering, clean with me's and things like that. So if that is your thing, also please make sure to head on down and subscribe and before we get into today's video I wanted to share with you these gorgeous flowers from Rose Forever in New York So Rose Forever is not sponsoring today's video and I don't make any kind of commission if you purchase their roses But they have sent me another beautiful bouquet and you guys know how obsessed I am with these flowers You see them pop up all the time on my YouTube and on my Instagram They make such gorgeous home decor and with Mother's Day right around the corner I thought this would be the perfect time to share this bouquet with you guys so they have also given me a discount code you can save $20 off any bouquet with the code chic 20 they have such beautiful colors to pick from you can choose between red blue ivory white and a whole bunch of other colors they have beautiful containers you can choose between pink suede crystal black suede they are all so classy and not only would they make a great gift but if you know somebody in your family who's looking for that perfect elegant touch that beautiful piece of home decor that looks great in a bedroom or in a living room these would make a great option. So I definitely suggest checking them out if you haven't. I will leave all of the details down below in the description box. These flowers are made of 100% fresh, real roses that have been preserved to last at least a year. So I can say from personal experience, I've been working with them about a year, and even the roses they gave me a year ago are still holding up. So they are excellent quality, and I really hope you guys will help support this company and head on down and check out the links below. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so the first one we're going to chat about is Mon Guerlain Bloom of Rose Eau de Toilette. So if you guys watch my channel, you know that I used to have the Eau de Parfum. I purchased it probably about four months ago. It was part of a large blind buy fail that I had done where I didn't like any of the perfumes I purchased in that whole haul. This one is one I have smelled in the stores numerous times. This is the Eau de Toilette version and every time I smell this, I think it smells so clean, so fresh, so elegant, so beautiful. It just was not my favorite Mon Guerlain. It wasn't like a high priority for me to purchase, um, but it's one that I've kind of had in the back of my mind for a really long time and I was kind of just waiting for the right moment to grab it. So this one is a little similar to the original Mon Guerlain, but it's quite a lot lighter. It's a little bit more rose centric, so it's not so much about the vanilla and the lavender. It's a little bit more about the floral notes. And then this one, of course, is a little bit more fresh and citrusy. So in the top, you have citruses and lavender. In the middle, you have Neroli, Bulgarian Rose, and Jasmine Sandback. And in the base, you have Tahitian Vanilla and Sandalwood. And first of all, I have to say the bottle is absolutely stunning. I love the Mon Guerlain bottles. They all look so elegant and so beautiful. Is this one a lifer for me? I can't promise that it would be a lifer because the dry down is very, very similar to the original Eau de Parfum, which wasn't for me. I found the original Eau de Parfum a little too heavy, a little too rose centric, um, almost a little too sweet. It just wasn't my vibe really. What I love about this one is the fresh quality. I love the opening of this one. I love how clean and airy and beautiful for springtime this one is. So my favorite part about this perfume is the opening. The dry down is still very, very nice, but it's very similar to the original um, Eau de Parfum. So if you like the Eau de Parfum and you're looking for something a little bit fresher for the spring and summer that's not quite so heavy, this would be a great one. This is just so refreshing when you spray it. It's very uplifting and invigorating and very, very pretty, and it's just a beautiful scent. Um, I actually purchased this one on the same day that I had purchased the Omnia Crystalline from Bulgari, and this one just blew it out of the water for me. Really, really pretty scent. Has pretty good longevity as well. I will smell this on my pajama top. I usually try my perfumes in the evening, so I'll smell this on my pajama top for like three or four days after I've sprayed it. Um, so that's pretty good. And it it does last on the skin a fair amount of time. Um, like I say, not my favorite Mon Guerlain. My favorite one I have to say is probably the Intense, but this one is a gorgeous one for the spring and summer. So yeah, definitely recommend this one if you want a fresh, clean rose fragrance with a little bit of that Mon Guerlain DNA. 
Okay, the next one, you guys, is in this beautiful bottle. This is from YSL, and this is Cinema. Now, I have been wanting to try this one for such a long time. I keep seeing it pop up on various channels, um, not specific channels, but just like if I'm looking at perfume videos in general, there's always some reviewer out there or some person sharing their collection who talks about this one. Um, I've also had a lot of people in the comment section recommend that I check it out. Um, it's a pretty popular perfume. I think it's been around for a while. Yes. 2004. So I just looked it up and this came out in 2004. And it's just one that's been on my radar, one that I wanted to try. You can get it for pretty affordable from discount websites. And yeah, I just really wanted to check this one out. So I will share with you my first impressions, my thoughts on it, and then I'll tell you what the review my boyfriend gave it <laughs> was. And let me tell you, they're a little different. So um, this is essentially a very classy floral vanilla fragrance. So in the top, you have almond blossom and clementine and cyclone. In the mid, you have jasmine, peony, and amaryllis, and in the base, you have vanilla, amber, benzoin, and white musk. Um, so first of all, I'll just give you a close-up of the bottle to see how absolutely stunning this is. Such a beautiful bottle, so classy. I don't own a lot of YSL fragrances. I have Black Opium Neon, and I think that's the only YSL fragrance I currently have. Um, so this one, you guys, I have to say my first impression, it's floral, it's elegant, it definitely gives me a cross between mom vibes or like auntie vibes versus CEO vibes. But then I also get a little bit of this beautiful elegance. Like I can picture a very well-to-do, very elegant, affluent woman wearing this perfume either as her everyday signature scent or out to a gala of some sort, a show or some sort of an event. I feel like this could be either an everyday boss woman CEO fragrance or a signature scent for a more mature, affluent, classy woman, or it would be an event type of fragrance, like something you could wear to a formal dinner or um, just any kind of special occasion where you wanted to smell classy and elegant and really put together. Yeah, I think this is so beautiful, you guys. I really, really like it. However, when I shared this with my boyfriend, he literally threw it across the couch. And in his words, this smells like a woman who has given up on life and she's on her way to home hardware to buy a barbecue. In his words, it smells like she's wearing one of those really ugly old floral dresses and she's on her way to home hardware to pick out a new barbecue and she just doesn't care anymore and it smells like old dead flowers and she just doesn't care what she smells like anymore. He thinks it smells like a woman who has given up on life and dresses very frumpily and just really floral and really dated and too mature, essentially. Um, so I don't really agree with him. I think it's beautiful. I honestly think this is so classy. It's right up there for me with Chanel fragrances. I think it's such a beautiful, classy perfume. However, I won't be able to wear this around him because he absolutely cannot stand it. In his opinion, there's no sex appeal about this. There's no sensuality or anything. He just really, really is opposed to this fragrance, which I can understand because it is quite floral and it does smell a little bit vintage-y. Um, it definitely smells like something that might've come out in 2004. Um, but I think it's really pretty. I think if you're looking for a classy fragrance, an everyday signature scent, something that says you are distinguished and you, you have your life together and you're a feminine, beautiful woman, I think this is a great fragrance for that. I don't think I will be keeping it because I won't be able to wear it around my partner <laughs> and I do take into account his opinion about perfumes because he's the f person I spend most of my time with. So yeah, unfortunately, I, I think it's really, really beautiful, um, but I probably won't be wearing it. <laughs> so that is YSL Cinema. Also has really good lasting power, you guys. So that is YSL Cinema. Okay, so this next one, you guys, I have had so many of you ask me to review it and I finally got it. Um, so thank you so much to Fragrance Buy for sending me this fragrance to review for you. They are currently sold out, but if you are interested in this perfume, go over to their website, put your name on the email notification list and you will get an email notification as soon as it's back in stock so that you can score a bottle of this for a really good price. So this is the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Parfum 
intense. This is a 30 ml bottle, that's why there's no floral apic at the top. This is the newest flanker of the original Jean Paul Gaultier Labelle. The original Jean Paul Gaultier Labelle, I have that one, I really, really like that one. It is a vanilla, pear, and vetiver fragrance. Um, however, I think there's a few other notes in the original that aren't listed on Fragrantica because if you look on other websites, you'll see that there's also bergamot and leather and a whole bunch of other notes in that perfume. This one, however, centers around pear, vanilla, and tonka bean. And I also found on another website that there's musk in here as well. My first impression of this when I spray it is it's extremely similar to the original Labelle. Very, very similar. The differences for me is that the original Labelle was a little brighter and sweeter, and the vetiver that was in the original one gave it this deep, earthy, earthiness, I guess, this this thick earthiness that I really, really liked, but I think some people are turned off by. Some people don't like vetiver in their fragrances. This one, however, doesn't have that thick, dense earthiness. On the contrary, this one has a little bit more of a heavy, vanillic, almost a smoky accord. Smoky, musky, not smoky like cigars or cigarettes or something like that, just like a very dark, nighttime, sexy accord to it. So it doesn't have the same bright, fruity, vetiver component the first one had. This one's a little bit more heavy on that vanilla and that tonka bean. First of all, you guys, this has incredible lasting power. One spray of this will last you all day. You will be projecting into the room. It's a very strong, bold fragrance. And my boyfriend says this is one of the sexiest fragrances he's ever smelled. He gives this one two thumbs up. He absolutely loves it. He says it's incredibly sexy and I like it. You guys, I can't say it's a favorite of mine, but that goes for the original LaBelle. The original LaBelle was not a favorite of mine either, but I really, really enjoy wearing it. And I particularly like the dry down. So I do enjoy both of them. I can't say that I'm jumping off my chair for it or that I'm going absolutely crazy for it, but I do like it. It has really good performance and I think it's one of those no-brainer, sexy, go-to fragrances if you're looking for something to wear for going out to a club, dressing up and going out for drinks, um, sexy date night. If you go lightly on it, I think this could become very um, overwhelming and very suffocating if you go too heavy. It is a very, very strong perfume. This is stronger and has better lasting power than the original, and the original already had good lasting power. I definitely would recommend this one if you like this scent profile. I wouldn't say go out and blind buy it. I think you should try before you buy. If you like the original, there's a very good chance you'll like this one. So these are the two side by side. And yeah, to be honest, you guys, I can't decide which one I like better. I don't know if I could pick one. I still really, I still really like the original. This one is very strong, very sweet, very vanilla. Not quite as fruity sweet, I don't think. It's a little bit more vanilla tonka bean sweet. This one reminds me of if Diesel Lover Dose got together with the original LaBelle and they had a baby. If you've ever smelled Diesel Lover Dose, it's a very sweet, heavy, gourmand perfume. It's also considered, I think, to be a very sexy perfume. That's what this is. So it's a very heavy, sweet, it smells pink, it smells rich, it smells very feminine, very vanilla. I have to say my personal favorite is still the original. I think I like the original better, um, but that doesn't mean that you won't like that one better. And I also did ask my boyfriend which one he preferred. He says that hands down, hands down the sexiest one is this one. So take that for what you will. That is my um, Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle Le Parfum. Incredible performance, really strong. Apparently it's very sexy. <laughs> So yeah. Okay, so you guys, just for a quick recap, these are the free fragrances we talked about today. If you are interested in any of these, you can find all of them on fragrancebuy.ca for a huge discount. This one, for instance, I paid full price for, I think I paid $135 at Shoppers Drug Mart. This is available on Fragrance Buy for $70, $70. So do not waste your money. Check out Fragrance Buy if you're interested in any of these perfumes. They are legit. I'm just impulsive and I picked it up in the city the other day without even thinking. Um, yeah, so the one that I like the best out of all of these I think is a 
tie between the Labelle and the Bloom of Rose. I think the Bloom of Rose is extremely elegant and chic and fresh and mass pleasing. Really good for the summertime. The Labelle, I think, is a sexy, young, flirtatious, fun, heavy nighttime perfume. Not my absolute favorite. Like I was pretty sure I was going to sell it the second I got it. Um, but I'm going to give it some time and see if it grows on me because apparently it is a hit around here. So that's the LaBelle. And then the cinema, I think again, is so beautiful, so timeless, so classy, um, very mature, very sophisticated, confident CEO type of woman, or maybe a mom scent or an auntie scent, rich auntie vibes. Um, I really like it personally. Personally, I think my favorite is still the Bloom of Rose. So that's my take on these fragrances today. And that's it. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances. And I really hope that you don't unsubscribe after the way my boyfriend describes cinema. I do apologize. Apparently, we have slightly different tastes sometimes. If you guys haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram, where I share a lot of other little tidbits of my life that I don't usually share on YouTube. And I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye for now.